Hi y'all. Hi, it's Kimberly. How are y'all? It's so hot here. Got the air conditioner on. I'm gonna try to pull my hair back a little bit before I do this. I'm fixing to eat. I'm gonna do a mukbang today. And, um, let me see. I just want to say one thing. I don't know if this is occurring everywhere. That sun is so bright. Let me change it a little bit. Um, Everywhere I've been going, it's, uh, they've been putting up signs saying there's a coin shortage, which I don't believe, because we had enough before, and for some reason it's, I don't know, <laughs> whatever, that you have to use cashless forms of payment, so, uh, so I guess it's happening everywhere. If it's happening here, I'm sure it's happening everywhere else, but whatever that is. But, um, today, I don't know if y'all have ever heard of this, Qdoba, with the Q-D-O-B-A, Mexican Grill, or Mexican Eats. So I got a bowl from this place, it looks really good. There's these two little things, there's, I guess a mild and a hot, hotter sauce, I don't know what it is really. And uh, it comes in a bowl like this. And I put, um, let me see if I can open this. Wow. Okay, it's got, I guess, a biodegradable bowl on the bottom. Hmm. Wow. And I had put um, brown rice, chicken. Um, You go in there, you go in line, and you just pick out what you want on it. Put my hat up. Put brown rice, chicken, um, pinto beans, um, some of the, what do you call it? Not the salsa, it's, not, not picante. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Oh, it's not really hot sauce, but the pico de gallo. I get it mixed up with salsa, but it's like, with the tomatoes and all the cilantro and I think chopped jalapenos and then I put it they give you uh, guacamole comes with it you get one or two scoops at no extra charge it comes with it and then I put some of these grilled um, like bell peppers and red onions on it some sour cream a little bit of lettuce I think that's all that I put on it but it's really big it's huge. Here's a chicken and a grilled chicken. Oh, it looks so good. And I'm so hungry. I don't know if I said pinto beans. Yeah, I think so. I think I did. This looks so good. I've never eaten here before, so this is something different. I've done a lot of mukbangs of food that I've eaten, but this is the first one, or one of, I think it is the first one of what I have not really eaten before. Mmm. Mm, so good. <laughs> yeah. Let me mix in some more of that guacamole with it. Oh my goodness. This tastes really good. And I delivered a few of these. Um, I've gone to that restaurant on my job, on my DoorDash job to deliver. And it looks so good. I was like, oh, I have to do a mic bang on this. It's so good. Or it looks so good, and it is. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and these are kind of foods that I like. I like a lot of stuff mixed in. I like a lot of ingredients. and I just like a lot of... I don't know. When I eat, I like a lot of everything <laughs> on my plate. <laughs> And with this, get it all in one bowl. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. And I usually like the red onions, you know, for um, salads. And usually when I'm making Mexican food or Tex-Mex or whatever, I use the white or the yellow Texas, the big yellow onions, you know. And... <laughs> I just like the flavor better for like fajitas and stuff, but 
I eat them anyway. I mean, that was the that's what they were making it with, with the red onions there, which I thought that was a little different. There's another place called Chipotle. I'm sure y'all know it. They make a bowl too. So I'm gonna compare this bowl with their bowl. I'm gonna eat this one today. Mm. Oh my gosh. That Ross is really good. Oh. I love Ross. I love a lot of Ross. Mm. Mm. Let's some this. I'm gonna try some of this hot sauce stuff. Whatever this is. Okay. She said one was hotter than the other and I couldn't really hear. I have to wear a face mask everywhere we go, so <laughs> it's kind of hard to sometimes hear people. I'm just going to taste of it. Mmm. I don't know what those are, like tomatoes, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Taste a little bit like a... Mm, oh my gosh, like a pork... Um, remember what you call it like chicharrones whenever you cook the pork in a in a saucepan and make the sauce with it that's what it tastes like I think that might be kind of a flavor that they're going for oh, gosh that was really good I'm gonna use all of it on my <laughs> I'm gonna pour it all on there god that was so good mmm Yeah, it does taste like that. Mm. Really good. Now I'm going to try this this other one. This one? I think this one might be more spicy. I'm not sure. Let's see. Mm, I don't know. Tastes kind of toma tomatillo like, the little green tomatillos. Got a little tang to it. I'm gonna put just a little bit on that. I think it might be a little more spicy. Oh my gosh. I do like some things pretty spicy, but sometimes I have to be careful. Make sure I don't upset my stomach. Okay. You mix. Some of this around. Mm. 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 Okay, I found a new favorite place. I'll probably be eating these a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. That this brown stuff, whatever it was, oh my gosh, that is really good. I wish I would have got two of those. Mm. Mixed in with the rice, it really gives the rice a lot more, a little bit more spicy flavor to it. Oh my gosh. Mm. I don't think I can eat this whole bowl. <laughs> It is a good size bowl, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I had made a, I think in one of my mukbangs I was talking about Tex-Mex food and we have so many Mexican food restaurants here and they're just everywhere. But this is more like a, um, It's not um, really old. I don't wanna. I don't know how to say it. Like real, real Mexico. It's not that. I think this has a lot of different flavors. I think from uh, different. Um, well, it's Mexican eats, but I think it's got a lot of different flavors from uh, all different regions, and they kind of mix it all together. That I think that's a really. Um, I like stuff like that. I like 
a lot of fusion, a lot of different flavors, a lot of different things in my food. Mm. A big old piece of that red onion. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. I would definitely go back there. This is oh so good. I don't know if this is a nationwide chain or something, but well it must be. Because we always get everything <laughs> at the very end here in Texas. <laughs> this is the last place people come. Yeah. That was really good. I'm surprised they give you free guacamole because most places, for like a little scoop, sometimes it's like two, two fifty, three dollars a scoop. And she was asking me, "Do I want guacamole?" I was like, "How much is extra is it?" You know, because you have to pay for that here. And she's like, "Oh, it's free." I was like, "Both of them?" I was like, "Okay, yeah." Hmm. I think I needed a little bit more sour cream. I like a lot of sour cream on my um, my food. I really love sour cream. Mm. The only thing... I did put the pico on it, but I like big slices of tomato. I mean like big wedges or huge slices of... Uh, of tomato on a lot of my Mexican food. I love the flavor of tomatoes. Uh, just it brings out all the. I don't know. I just love it. Mm. Mm. Sorry, I put mine. Don't want to choke. The only thing that would make it better, really, would be the tomatoes. Other than that, it's really good. Oh my goodness. And you can put more stuff on it. This is just what I picked. There was other different, um, there was a, a lot more stuff. Like, twice as much stuff you could put on it. Well, it comes with, she said, either hamburger, chicken, steak, or the um, brisket. Which, I was going to pick the brisket. But I really, I do like chicken a lot. Mm. Okay. Well. I'm going to finish this up, or try to. I might put a little bit more of this on it, just a tiny bit. Yeah, I think this one is more spicy. The other one had more, like, I was saying, like a flavor, like some of the the old style uh, pork chicharroni recipes that you cook in the pan. I love that with the, the pork gravy and all that. Oh, I love that. Where it's kind of spicy. Mmm, that's the best. But other than that, gosh, I mean, yeah, you could put more stuff on it if you wanted there. They had, well, you get to pick between white rice, the the brown rice, which is more, I think, more spicy, has more of the juices and spices cooked in with it. And then you pick your meat. Then you got, you know, different vegetables and the different kind of. Actually, there was some more um, bottles, quart bottles. I don't even know what was in it. Oh, and I did put a. Um, she drizzled a, like a cheese sauce on it. That was, I guess, it was like a. I want to say like kind of like a pepper jack. I can't. I don't really know what it was, but it looked really cheesy and spicy. And she drizzled that on it too. So that was the cheese that was in it. Mm. 
Okay, well, thank you for showing up, and that was Qdoba, Q-D-O-B-A, and it is so good, really good, and it's, you know, a really good sized bowl, and it was like eight something, I think, for this bowl, which is like a whole meal, I mean, it's huge, I haven't even, I've maybe eaten one third of it, if even, okay, um, I'll probably go to Chipotle next to review their bowl to compare it to this one. Okay. Thank you all. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much.